Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new installment of uh, Let's Play. This is Ring of Red, uh, a game I remember I bought some time ago uh, for the PS2. I originally played this when I owned my PS2 originally, uh, sometime after it first came out. This is uh, a alternate history uh, tactics turn-based RPG game uh, involving uh, mechs and I believe it takes place during World War II. It's a good game, and uh, it's also made by Konami, as you may have, may not have noticed. And uh, it's just that damn good. The year was 1946, with Japan's defiance of the Potsdam Confederate Conference ultimatum and its call for absolute resistance. I can never read all that. Con the conflict sparked by a brutal invasion came to an end after massive civilian casualties and the Soviets' in entry into the fray. This is supposed to take place between, I believe, the Republic of Japan and the Democratic Japan. There's a lot of uh, alternative history stuff. Can't really seem to be able to want to skip a lot of this. So yeah, so uh, North and South Japan split and started a war and Tried to have a thin mantle of peace, but it didn't work out. War waged for about four years. Le leaving the archipelago to a waste. The peace agreement at the end of those four years became a covert battleground of international alliances and communist power, bro power broken, failing to provide any resolution for the strife torn nation. And somewhere in there, mechs uh, became involved, or mechs were already involved. Spoken on both sides, blah, 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 blah. Ten years passed. It was 1964. It would be the year that I would come to remember. Prologue. Crimson Phantom. <clears throat> Shooting training. So this is what uh, part of the game introduces in for its tactics uh first you get your little mission briefing and then you meet your characters i'm just gonna try and get to the gameplay as quickly as possible and what was really uh cool about this game was that it gave you uh, a variety of different mechs uh all all of them different types with different abilities strengths and weaknesses um yeah so there's no spoken dialogue, it's all just text. Which, apparently, uh, I was reading on the Wikipedia page, this game got some fault for, but for me, it's like, uh, who really cares? I mean, for certain games, I can understand where it, would, where it might be better to have some spoken dialogue. Yeah, this is where you save your game. So this is where we get started. So as far as I remember, there were about three really different styles of mechs. Uh, though even the ones that appear to be the same, they still have their differences. Like you have uh, the light mechs that are a little bit faster, but they do very little damage. Uh, but they're very fast, and so they also have the ability to be able to evade. And then you have sort of medium mechs that are a little bit slower but they pack a little bit more punch in their firepower and then you also have the heavy mechs that are obviously much much slower but they pack one hell of a punch uh and they're also much more heavily armored as well so they're much much harder to hit so this is where a lot of the turn-based tactics comes in in that it kind of works uh in the same way as uh, final fantasy tactics did at the time where you had this giant grid world and you moved your character around from point to point and then only in this game's case when you came into action with another opponent you would then go on to another playing field where your mech is walking towards them and the closer that you get to your enemy mech the greater chance you have of being able to hit them with your weapon Oh dear god, did I just ask him to go over it again? 
Yeah, so actually there's four types. There are the lights, there are the mediums, there's close range, and then there's uh, the four-legged uh, long range. Distances between become clear during combat, and an AFW's attack power varies radically depending on the target distance. This means that creating combat situations where each team can attack at its optimum distance is a large part of this. No, I do not want to hear that. Why can't it start you on no? Alright. Yes, attack. Alright. This is the interesting combat. Because you have options of being able to move closer to your opponent, but at the same time, uh, as you become closer to them, they may have a better chance of being able to hit you as well. All right, I can't skip this. Okay. All right, tell him to move forward. And also, you have to wait for your cannon to to become available. And it's a uh, it's a little counter over there in the corner. And then you can give the order to fire. And as the game goes on, you later on get other troops that you can even ground troops that you can command. 50%, 60, and try, ah, I missed horribly. Right. Right, close range, I'm going to stop here. Unless he decides to, to start moving. And, and as you'll see, we also, we have a timer as well. Oh, I need to move back too close. Yeah, so far though, he hasn't gotten a, a chance to attack unless I screwed him over for his attack. Alright, here we go. Okay, my sh second shot. The fact that I'm so close is... Come on, that's gotta be a hit. How did I miss? Oh my god, I suck. Yeah, and so actually, uh, he's not going to attack because uh, because this is all just a training sim. So, third time is the freaking charm. Come on, I gotta hit. If I can't hit, then I truly suck. I had a dead center on him! Come on! Oh, dear God. What the fuck, game? That was ridiculous. All right. This should kill it, if I can hit it. All right, I'm gonna try my luck here. That was still in the middle of the target. I should have hit it. Oh, man. Yeah, this game's accuracy has not aged very well. All right. At least it doesn't fight back. So at least there's that. And boom. All right, there we go. Training sim over. I just did, dude. What are you talking about? What was he yelling at me for? Yay, I did it. 20 XP. All right. Now let's see you and Rico tr try a try a mock combat. Try mock combat, Roger. I guess now we have to fight each other. Yep. Okay, was it uh, Masamiya? Sorry, I don't think I ever caught your full name. The name is Weezgerger. I don't know how to pronounce it. Don't call me Masamiya, okay? It's my Japanese name. 
but it just doesn't feel like it's mine. But Masamiya is your given name, isn't it? I don't like the way it sounds. Just don't call me that. Okay, okay. I'll go with Wis. I'll go with Weisegiger. But it's but it's but it's kind of long. Mind if I call you Wee? As long as it's not Masamiya, I don't care what you call me. <laughs> He's a bit of a jerk. Next, we look at rotation and terrain. When a team concludes its action, the the standby interval kicks in. The standby interval re refers to the waiting period until the team is on hand again. Blah, 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 blah. I really don't remember uh, much of this being, being an issue for the game. Let me start over. Fuck no. All right, she's going to attack me. We, do you copy? We here. You've never seen combat. How do you expect to keep up with me? What matters is how fast and precise I can pilot this thing, and I won't lose. You can count on that. Oh, really? Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? All right. Here we go. Bear in mind, it's a training sim, so whether I win or lose, I'm not sure how different the consequences are. It's probably no different whether you win or lose. Mock battle or not, I am I'm not going to hold back. You get a free shot? That's not fair. Uh, she, she missed. What the hell was that? Yeah, let's, let's just stay here at short range. And I believe uh, if they shoot before you do, they can knock you off target. Or they can also kind of mess up your shot. Come on, baby. Yeah, see, now that one actually hit that time. It's a shame that you can't, you know, try to move, you know, your mech off to the sides or anything like that. You know, in order to try and uh, evade, you know, or throw off your enemy's attack. You know, because that would be pretty interesting. I want to see another mech game like this that sort of takes... And more than likely, more than likely, there probably have been other mech games that have taken this same style of combat and really redefined it with what they've done. She's got a lot of health. Ah, she hit me. Alright. Come on, come on. Any... Yeah, see, she knocked me off a little bit. Fire! Yeah! That was a good hit. Yeah, so I'm... I am certainly beating her. She's not that far behind either. I'll never forgive myself if I lose to her. And she hit me. Oh my God, my, yeah, I got plenty of help. I need to hit her hard. That's what I really need to do. Not sure she's moving, moving away from me. How was that? How is that no good, dude? That was like right on target. You're silly. You're silly and stupid. Earn 10 XP. Great, the, tra the transmission's so stiff it's it's a joke. Can't run too well in this, in this either. Cutting edge my butt. Oh yeah, and uh, that's another thing. Um, in between fighting uh, if your mech is damaged you can uh, you can recover while you wait in between combat I hope to be able to get to a lot of the other mechs that are in this game so I can show off a, so I can show off a bit more come on come on Oh, 
Come on, baby. Good shot. Nah, I'm sure that, that missed. No, that time I hit her. You won. You're better than I thought. Yes! That's right, baby. I will always be better. Because I have a penis and you do not. I'm joking. Relax. I know I'm not special. Damn, this is definitely not what I've expected. I wouldn't throw a match. I wouldn't throw a match for you, and I, and I don't expect you to do it either. Woo, 10 XP. I forget uh, what benefits different characters get for for leveling up. But for me, I want to see a mech game that not only has uh, some good strategy and some good RPG mechanics, but um, I'd like to also see uh, being... Basically, I would love the idea of being able to fully customize your mech. You know, whether it's uh, armament and type of ammo and the type of cannon. Uh, if you can uh, vary the speed of your mech, vary the strength, the firepower, and any other additional add-ons, uh, you know, like secondary weapons and stuff like that. You know, and, you know, and have the combat be able to change from being fast to being kind of slow and methodical and you know that would be really interesting for me and I know certainly in this day and age we can make games like that hell uh, I know there is a mech game I believe on the PC I don't know what it's called I think it's still in beta hell I know Titanfall plays a little bit like that but that's kind of an online uh, multiplayer game and my arena is not exactly superior enough to be able to play games like that. I would love to play a game like that, though. And it is available for the 360. So. Too bad there's no uh, single-player offline. Or local multiplayer. Because that's a game I would love to play with my friends. And I could see us playing that and just loving the hell out of it. I really could. Yeah, this is a live fire practice. Yeah, no, this is about when the main plotline kicks in because uh, the other guy who is running the uh, the new type of the new type of mech uh, turns out that he's actually uh, an enemy soldier. And he's actually hijacking this new mech. I mean, you find that out immediately. Because uh, you're having this training sim. Though you are using live fire. And he suddenly runs up and uh, in close quarter combats you. And just kicks the shit out of you. Yeah, see, and these, are, uh, these are the different uh, varieties of mechs that you have. Also, that all look pretty cool. And for some reason, I can't be given the option to choose, but not that it matters, because like I said, he, he immediately runs up and attacks you. And these are the alternate uh, abilities uh, that some of your other mechs have, as opposed to just using your cannons. So there are some secondary weapons that your mechs can have, or even special abilities. Like here he kind of runs up kind of slowly to you but again you know these were you know 1960s mechs so they're not going to be fast or incredible uh you know like a gundam would be you know or anything like that and just yeah just just, just punches the shit out of me and then shoots me as well tough luck yeah, and he certainly looks like a douchebag, too, doesn't he? They did about 99 damage to me, and then we find out that, oh, he's actually an enemy... He's actually an enemy soldier. Damn it, a direct shot from this close? Are you out of your mind? Type 3, cease fire! You know that close combat is strictly forbidden. Type 3, respond! Kirkushi, 
this is an order. We have a situation. They've just found the bodies of Shinji Kurchimiji and the Type 3 AFW technician. They've been murdered. I'm sorry, her picture profile does not, you know, look like she's alarmed at all. It looks more like she's turned on. What? Kurchimiji, what is going on around here? Who the heck is on Type 3 right now? This is Type 3, do you copy? I'll, I'll be taking this ride back with me. Don't worry. It'll be used for the common good and the realization of a superior ideal. Who the heck do you think you are? You're not going anywhere. Who am I? Well, let's just say I'm the ghost of 10 years past. We can't leave a cutting edge craft in some amateur's hands. We'll make good use of it. I can assure you that. 10 years past, you're a North, damn it. Type one and two, pursue type three immediately. Don't, don't let the Northerners get a hold of the vehicle. That'll be kind of hard to do since he kind of kicked our ass. Oops, he caught me napping. It was point blank. No warning. Looks like you can still move. We're going after. We're going after him. Understood? Think I need. Think I need to be told. Who is he anyway? The colonel said Northerners, North Japan. You know, the North Japanese. Well, I don't care who he is. Yeah. So our hero, uh, Weizaker, is kind of stupid. But that can happen. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna... No, I'll be close enough to attack. Yeah, so I'll be attacking with her. You're not taking taking that with you, buddy. You expect to stop me with that? If you expect me to go easy on, on women, you're sorely mistaken. See how well I hold up against him. Just hand over the AFW now. Anyone that gets in my way is dead. Yeah, so in every quick little uh, beginning, he gets a free shot. It's kind of unfair, because what if he hit? Yeah, so if I'm medium range and then I move up, the percentage of my shot increases. He's already ready to fire. But that also helps him, too. Oh, and he's using uh, ability aim weapon, so he, so he'll actually get a better shot at me. And he's and see, and this is another thing too is is that with these particular abilities, you can you know weaken a character's uh, weapon, you can weaken uh, you can weaken their armor, weaken their defenses. Yeah, see, so like my my, my hit percentage went down, and he's already using another ability. Yeah, so you are instantly, obviously not going to be able to win this fight, at all. So it wouldn't really matter how hard I try. I'm not going to be able to hit him or beat him because my weapon is weakened, and he's activated his dodge, so that gives him a better and and see and. The, He's already got a, another shot to shoot at me. And I just barely now got my got my chance to shoot. Come on, baby. Pretty sure I missed. Yeah. Uh, and also uh, with the dodge ability, I think he I think he automatically gets to dodge my shot. Yeah, I think he's moving forward. While I, while I move backward. Or he's moving to the side. Miss and hit. Yeah, so he's kicking my ass. But that's kind of the point of this. And he gets his dodge, dodge action again. Which is kind of cheap, because I think uh, even with the light vehicles who do get the dodge ability, you only really get to use them once during combat. You can't use them multiple times. Let me at least get one hit on this dickhead. Nope. I'm trying to move slow. 
Yeah, this guy's an asshole. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to the other, uh... He's probably gonna kill me, though, like, before this fight's over. If you didn't have to... wait through the cinematics... At least I got a hit on him. Wonder if you can parry this one. Yeah, so my AF weapon uh, is broken. But it did still work. I did still get to fire. Damn, he's fast. Wait up, will ya? Yeah, so he's taking a little bit of damage, but I've taken... Quite a bit. Ha! Save the boasting for when you do some actual damage. You! You've got a long way to go, kid. And not much time left. Because I'm a douche. Isn't it obvious? Sadly, though, I'm already damaged. But uh, we're not really meant to be able to win this fight. Because the rest of the plot of the game is us kind of chasing after this guy. And fighting uh, the northerners and helping out uh, some other resistance fighters who are fighting the north. Yeah, see, so if, if some of these other elements actually moved a bit faster, it does kind of slow parts of the game down a little bit when you go to attack and then you have a timer that you're having to wait on. You know, because the timer does kind of ruin it, but then again, this is a turn-based uh, tactics and strategy game. So, I guess obviously if there wasn't a timer, it, there might not be that much strategy involved. Come on, baby. Line it up. Oh. Yeah, you hit me. That's going to throw me off. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm already at long range. Come on, baby. Give me a good shot. Yeah, that hit, but that didn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah see, I'm at 112, and he's at uh, 202. Are you prepared to meet your maker? Got lead? Get it? It's a pun. See, I shot you with lead. That's what makes it so funny. All right. Yeah, and see, and uh, his reload on his weapon is is especially fast. Come on, baby. Nope, that missed. Stupid novice, what are you aiming at? That's it. shot. I might not get this since the timer's running out. Yeah. Yeah, that is one kind of crummy thing about this game, is that when the timer runs out, uh, even if you're about to attack, uh, it, get, it gets cancelled. So. Yeah, and he runs away and he recovers. Our boy does move fast. He's not a novice, I can tell you that. Why is this still going on? All right, I'm gonna go until, uh... Yeah, see, and that's the thing. Uh, you can't move, recover, and then attack. You can only do one thing at a time. Obviously. There are, there are also, uh... There are obviously different cycles of the day as you'll, as you'll continue to play on throughout the game. I'm probably gonna go until until this whole scene ends. So I'll just do uh, just, just quite a bit of editing process. This guy's a real dick. 
Ah, oh, jeez. I'm already almost dead. Come on, baby. Give me a good... Give me a good shot. That might not hit. Nope, that did hit. I keep on hitting him right in the crotch. Yeah, so uh, here's another thing. See, uh, this is your main cannon shot, and uh, this, this is your option for uh, for soldiers. Um, because at one point, uh, ground troops do become available, and you can actually have the option to either shoot at the at the other main opponent, or you can shoot at his enemy soldiers. And then uh, this is, and then these are the orders that you can choose to give to uh, to your own ground soldiers. And then this is. Uh, for crew operated for your different versions of ammo and then uh, these are your other attacks and since we don't have any because we're not quite there yet that doesn't come along until a little bit later into the game kind of wish I could show those off yeah knock me down I'm down and I'm on fire now, and uh, I believe uh, when you uh, when you lose a character, I I'm not sure if they die or if sneer another newbie bastard. Wait till I get you out. I'm not sure uh, if when a if when a character loses their mech if they die. Or what? I do kind of wish uh, that when you did the whole recovery process that you recovered a lot more, but eh. Yeah, and the new type of mech is known as the Albatross. It's a... It's obviously for... Oh, crap. Obviously, I should not have tried to confront him. I just now figured, figured that... Of course, bear in mind, I haven't played this game in a long time. So... Alright, I need to try to stay back for a little bit. I'm gonna try and stay back and recover as much as I can until I can fight these guys. Because obviously, if I try to take them on head-on, they are going to kick my ass. Either way, it doesn't seem to improve. My, my maximum percentage right now is 28. Come on, baby. I gotta try and fire as quick as I can now. Yep, there we go. Nice, and I did some great damage on her, too. Alright, come on. Give me a good, clean hit. Very nice. Dead center. Right on. Yeah, I took like one teeny tiny step. Come on, baby. Let me get one last shot in before the timer runs out. Ah. He misses. Get one good shot. Oh, come on, man. I hit the X button, like, right as... Oh, man. That wasn't fair. Like, there was one, for instance, uh... I forget what the full title of it is. It's on the P PlayStation 3. Um, it's called, uh... I want to say Valkyrie Chronicles, but I'm not sure if that's correct. But it looked really good. Uh, you could move your troops around and do cover-to-cover -cover combat, and it was uh, tactics and RPG-oriented, uh, and a lot of them had different skills and abilities, and uh, different weapons and tactics, like you had characters, uh, long-range rifles, pistols, rifles, machine guns, sniper rifles, RPGs, grenades even, and the fact that you had uh, a cover mechanic and a lot of other stuff like that made the game look really cool. 
Yes! I, I just blasted the shit out of you. How does it feel? Alright, I'm gonna try and stop this right here. I, I think this has gone on long enough. Alright, everybody, this was Ring of Red. It is on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I don't know how much it is going for if you go to a regular used game store. I imagine it probably goes for no more than maybe $10 to $15. This game is also available on the PlayStation 3 network. It goes for about $10. Uh, I would certainly say that I would certainly say that it's worth it, uh, purely out of curiosity. I, I imagine you could get it for a little bit cheaper uh, from a used game store, but either way, this game is... I think it still holds up. I think it's still a pretty good game. Uh, it's maybe not as technical or as deep as any other uh, tactics RPG game is today, uh, but if you want a good old-fashioned mech game, this is pretty damn good. Uh, and I've been wanting to get back and play this again for quite a while. I don't know if I'll come back and do another Let's Play of it. Yeah, yeah. see, I just got another uh, maximum attack ability, Quick Fire. Where you don't have to wait uh, for your gauge to fill up to be able to attack. Alright, everybody. This was Ring of Red. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time.